You're watching KMNH. Kids making the news happen. Hi, I'm Omer and this is KMNH News. And today is Thursday, April 23rd. On Monday, Cincinnati Council member P.G. Sittenfeld hosted a town hall for kids and students. It was a Facebook Live event where kids ask questions and get real answers from a public official. KMNH News watched the event and asked the question, what does the term furloughed mean and how was the decision made as to who were the city employees that were furloughed? Let's see here, our next question. The kids who, kids making the news happen in Northside asked, what does it mean to be furloughed and will the city's furloughs ex affect teens who get summer jobs with the city like lifeguards at city pools? Well, first, I saw in the uh, in the comment section um, that uh, Tommy from uh, the nonprofit Happen Inc. in Northside that he and the students who put together uh, tell me if I got the name of this right, Jazz. But kids making the news happen is that the right name of it? Kids making the news happen, yeah. Shout out. Kids, kids making the news happen um, are, are joining for this. So thank you all for your interest and participation. So um, a furlough is when an employer. Uh, tells the employee that they need to take, that they have to take a temporary leave of absence, usually due to some circumstance, which um, often uh, will be uh, sort of, you know, challenging economic time. Um, and during that period when they have to take this temporary leave of absence, they're also going unpaid. So the, the big distinction here is between being furloughed versus if you're laid off, rather than it being temporary, that's permanent, you're no longer an employee um, of that of that organization, I will personally say um, I there was a lot with because the city did engage in furloughs. Um, hence the the question from the students in in Northside. Um, I disagreed with a lot of things, kind of about how we went about it, the timing of certain things. One thing I was very glad for is that the city of Cincinnati employees who ended up being furloughed were able to keep their health insurance. Um, and then another thing that in a situation when someone's furloughed. They're usually, usually, you'll still be eligible to go on some sort of government unemployment benefits of some sort. So I know the second part of the question was what happens to students who might usually um, act as lifeguards uh, for the city during the summer? Often these are teenagers. And I hate to be, I think whether you are um, a four-year-old like Jackson or whether you are an 18-year-old getting ready to do whatever you're going to do after high school, um, it's really important to, you know, give people the news straight. Obviously, we always want to um, show our compassionate side um, and that we're all in this together. But given that next year, the budget deficit for the city of Cincinnati right now is projected to be around $80 million, around $80 million less than we would expect to come in. I think just being honest that, um, you know, the, the, what we normally offer in terms of our pools and the lifeguards that come with our pools as we sit here today, it can be very challenging to offer that for the year ahead. And obviously, if our pools end up being closed, um, then we're also not going to be in a position where we can hire lifeguards for pools that aren't even open. So I know that's not what you want to hear. I will also say that um, this is not finalized yet. The city finalizes the city budget in June. Obviously, we, we hope that our economy, you know, we, we regain our population health and that our economy comes roaring back. And that might be a little bit more optimistic just in terms of the timetable. So right now, I think this might be a, a season when we're going to be going without uh, lifeguards for, for not, not going out without lifeguards. The pools wouldn't be open, in which case it wouldn't have lifeguards. So if anyone from uh, the students in Northside have served as lifeguards in the past, thank you. Trust me, we want to get you back on the job just like I want to get everybody else back on the job. But that's where things stand right now. Thank you, Councilmember P.G. Sittenfield, for your answer. It may not have been the best news you were giving out, and I'm sure some of those decisions, all of those decisions were hard ones, but thank you for giving it to us straight. As you can see from KMNH and Town Hall, kids want and deserve a voice too. That's the only way future leaders will grow. Please let us know if you can think of any ways kids can help their communities or have any news that affects kids and their families and society as a whole will be sure to spread the news and now for some local north side news our north side council held its first online meeting during the stay-at-home orders 
we asked President Becky Smolinski Finnegan if she thought the meeting was a success and what were the challenges they had to overcome in order to make it a successful meeting. Overall, I think the meeting went pretty well. We were glad to have the opportunity to give updates to the community about what we were working on. Um, our biggest obstacle was just that we've never done this type of meeting format before and we didn't really know how it was going to go. Uh, we also were afraid that we would have a hard time reaching all of our um, members on an, in an online format, but these are things that we can hopefully work on for future meetings. Ask if the council will continue to have online meetings even after the social distancing orders had been lifted. We're definitely going to continue online meetings uh, until we can resume in-person meetings. We're also posting the recordings of the online meetings on our website at northsidecouncil.com. There's a section called Meetings. You can find links to recordings there. Once the social distancing guidelines have been lifted and we're able to resume um, in-person meetings, we will reassess at that time whether or not we're going to continue the virtual option. Today's word of the day is Council, spelled C O. U-N-S-I-L. Council is defined as a body of people elected to manage the affairs of a city, country, or other municipal district. A council can also mean a meeting for discussion or advice, but to council is a verb meaning to give advice. Council comes from the Latin word concilium, for group of people or meeting which is what it basically means today. There are student councils, honor councils, and city or neighborhood councils. Maybe we should have a family council, and Spot could be the president. And now, as you can see, time for another KMNH weather report. Rain, rain, and more rain today with a high of 58, and that temperature won't change much as we get down to only a low of 51. But that won't make the rain go away as we still have a high chance of precipitation for the rest of the week. Temperatures remain mild and helps offset the upcoming weather forecast from being absolutely miserable to what we call somewhat hopeful. You can sponsor KMNH News and other Happen Online programming as a BFF. BFF does stand for Best Friend Forever, and here at Happen it means even more. BFF stands for Business, Family, or Friend Supporter. If you are a BFF and want to be a BFF donor for just $100 or more, you can keep Happen's online support happening. We will recognize and thank you on air for your donations. Just go to Happen's website, happeninc.org, and click on the Give a Gift and the donation button and leave in the send a note area that you would like to be a KMNH sponsor. We want to thank you in advance for being a Happen BFF. Hi, my name's Olivia and I'm gonna read a book called Planting Seeds of Kindness. Wake up, little one. Let's start our day. And remember that kindness goes a long way. My mommy looks really busy today. I will help by putting our breakfast away.
Someone new is on our bus. Your first day? Here, come sit with us. Your cookie fell under your chair. Have half of mine. It's fun to share. Officer Hedgehog looks brave all in blue. Thanks, Officer Hedgehog, for all that you do. Mrs. Mulford's Fort Fort's yard is full of weeds. Some helpful hands are what she needs. Hi, Grandpa. I just wanted to call to say I love you best of all. I will do your hair. You will do mine. What's better than sharing bathtub time? Little, little seeds of kindness plant, planted, planted all day through, through, grow in here like flowers. I all because of you. Thank you for tuning in to this CAMNH broadcast. A special thank you to Mooney Bullock family and the English family for sponsoring tonight's CAMNH broadcast. This is Omer, and I hope that you tune in again tomorrow for more CAMNH.